and welcome my name is heroin bob and welcome to bob bias channel i share with you all my part-time reselling journey here in the state of virginia i had my lovely mississippi reselling friends alicia from married life and victoria from super geek reach out to me because they have been watching my listing videos and asked if i would like to participate in a larger listing challenge with not only them but 12 other resellers here in the youtube community which all of their channels will be linked down below as well as hopefully a playlist up here for you guys to watch all of our listing challenge videos and we are just supposed to spend the next week doing a listing challenge with whatever we can get done uh, i know that a lot of the full timers are doing 100 listings as their goals and uh, there are a couple of part timers here that are hoping to do 50. I am not going to limit myself with a number because of the fact that I am a disabled creator. I also have a full-time job and I stream on Twitch in addition to doing this wonderful reselling business. So I am going to do what I can get done. I'm still going to do my regular listing videos for the estate sale haul because I need to get that up and listed, but I am not going to count those videos towards this challenge because the whole point of this challenge is to get your death pile listed. This is day one for me, it is March 22nd, <laughs> so I'm already doing great. Um, but I have some stuff I need to get washed so I can get it in sellable condition. And then I guess I, I, I'm already on the floor, so this is where I'm gonna be listing stuff because I'm tired. And this is where my light box is, so that's on the floor, I know. But let's get listing. <laughs> So yes, I'm sharing with y'all my lovely washing machine for one reason and one reason only. If you are a reseller or just someone who has some delicate clothes and you are in the market for a new washing machine, I cannot and can afford it. I cannot recommend enough having a washing machine with a hand wash cycle. It is the best, like the best. <laughs> The amount of more clothes that I can get clean, stain free, and not have to worry about being ruined, and still put it in the washing machine, is such a time saver that this has paid for itself multiple times over. Both for personal clothes and also for reselling clothes, so. Okay, so here is... Yes, I'm still on the floor. Here is 20 items that I am going to try listing today. There is my supervisor, Miss Moxie, making sure I am going to work super hard to afford all of her delicious cat food and treats. I would say toys and, you know, towers and stuff, but I have bought many of those and she never uses them. So, need to set up my lovely light studio and uh, I guess watch some reseller YouTube while I get all this photographed. So a day has passed and my next mission that I choose to accept is to list these five items and then also and these 10 items. It is a healthy mixture of stuff that is newly purchased, stuff from my men's thread up box I still haven't gotten to, and stuff from my death pile. So wish me luck. I guess this would bring my total up to 35 at this point if I get everything done. So, so far in this listing challenge, I have managed to photograph and list 20 hard goods, my version of hard goods, which is like glass and ceramics. I have managed to photograph and list 15 pieces of clothing and I would like to hit 50. So on this final day, I am going to do a grand push and try to photograph and list another 15 pieces. Um, so let me show you what those are. So this is the pile. A couple of ties from the men's sort out box that need to get listed. Um, a couple of Limoges pieces. This I picked up at Design and Consign. 
yesterday, a first edition paperback by Stephen King, the Lennox piece that I picked up from that hole in the wall thrift store that was absolutely amazing. This piece, which I thought about doing a thrifty treats, but uh, it's, pumpkin season is kind of over. So if I still have this in October, I will. Uh, and then a whole bunch of restaurant wear that needs to get listed as well. So I guess let's hit that 50 goal. I started this video on the floor and I'm ending this video on the floor. I did way more this week than I thought was going to be possible, especially getting my first Moderna shot uh, and dealing with those wonderful side effects. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy. Uh, I was able to do two things, which I was not expecting. I listed 50 items, which is a lot. And two, I hit 400 listings on my eBay store. So, yay. <laughs> I am exhausted and, like I said, still dealing with the lovely after effects of my first Moderna shot. Uh, as I stated at the beginning of the video, I am, due to my many health conditions, technically disabled. But, you know, I don't look disabled and I still have a full-time job and I still do lots of other stuff. It's just life is hard sometimes for me. and. Uh, I did get a few of the unpleasant side effects from the first shot, so I'm sure the second shot will take me down for about a week. But uh, I feel a little bit less anxious going out into the world now, so that's nice. And as I said, I got to do this wonderful listing challenge with all these amazing resellers, which again will be linked down below. Uh, what I didn't share with you until this point is that I had two more items sell before the week ended and before I could put this video up and that was <laughs> that was this <laughs> it was two hats so it was this first one which is an adidas hat again if you are new to my channel I worked for adidas for four years adidas is a German company I know most Americans say adidas but my best friend's German like I said, I worked for the company for a while. It's Adidas. So your, your way of saying it is right. My way of saying it's also right. Cool. Uh, this hat, as you see, it only sold for $7. I got this in a men's thread up box. The only reason I'm listening it is one, because of this listing challenge, and two, because I'm trying to get my money back from that very expensive box. So it sold for $7. I actually made a couple dollars off of this towards the cost of that box. So big happy there. And then this vintage Playboy trucker hat. Uh, this actually had a severe stain on it when my mom gave it to me. It, it was from my brother's closet. Uh, it was vintage. So I used my little baseball cap caddy and I washed it in my hand wash setting that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. <laughs> and it all came out and it looks absolutely beautiful like it had never been worn before. So. Really happy about that sale and it sold for 20 with also free shipping. Uh, hats are super easy. They normally weigh less than six six ounces. So I just put them in an eight by six by four and off they go to their new home. But thank you, Alicia, and thank you, Victoria, for asking me to be part of this challenge. I'm really excited that I got closer to one of my goals for the year thanks to this challenge and I made a nice little dent in my death pile. So thank you all for watching. Go check out the other videos. Again, I will try to put together a playlist and put that up here to make it easier for y'all to go find everybody's videos. Hero, and until uh, the next video, bye. Hero, hero. bye. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.